Hi. So I am recording this super embarrassing video that I'm not positive if I'm gonna post or not um, because this is such an important copywriting lesson and I don't wanna miss the moment. Without going into details, currently I am between two houses. We are mid move and this is my old office where there is stuff everywhere. I cannot even explain the level of anxiety this gives me having this chaos everywhere, but we don't have internet in the new place, so I have to work from here this week. And it's been a day. I uh, had to run out, literally run out of the house because my husband had an early train he needed to catch, and he was driving me here. So at 6.30 this morning, I basically realized I had 10 minutes to get out the door. So just threw stuff on, no makeup, no shower, the glamorous life of a work from home entrepreneur. And this morning was a mess. Um, I, in the rush, forgot my keys to the house, which luckily we had a spare, forgot my lunch, which I spent forever preparing last night, so that really bugged me. Um, remembered my dog, which was the most important thing, and my laptop. But I basically got here and realized I don't have lunch. And I got here at 7 a.m. And I am gonna be here until 8 p.m. with no car because I am teaching a live class from 5 to 8 p.m. over the internet. So not having lunch was kind of an issue. I also realized I did not have money, uh, didn't have my wallet, like it, oh my, it was just, it's been a day. And luckily my in-laws live nearby, my father-in-law works from home, so he said he would pick me up some food because he's a freaking angel. And here's where the copywriting part comes in. So I also don't have cutlery in this place. We've moved like 90% of our stuff and there's 10% of random things here that are not that necessary for living. So in my lunch bag, I also had a container to eat out of. I also had a fork and knife because yesterday I had to eat my lunch with my fingers because I forgot we didn't have cutlery. And so my father-in-law brought over my lunch that he picked up for me and there is the most amazing thing in here. I don't know if you can see this. It comes, I already ripped it open in haste, with a fork that you can put together to eat this delicious pasta salad. And here's where the copywriting logic comes in. I have talked before and often find it difficult to describe this concept of the quickest valuable win, the QVW. Um, and this is a copywriting term that describes the most immediate need that your product or your offer satisfies. So this is not when Tesco, who's the company who sold this little meal deal pack, it's not when they talk about the robust flavors or where they source their ingredients from or how delicious it tastes. Those are all big picture benefits that matter for sure. In this moment, on this hellacious day, the quickest valuable win of this product is that there's a fork inside. It's a little tangible thing that makes a big difference. And it's really important you don't forget about the QVWs when you're writing your sales copy. So it's super, super important that you understand what your QVW is. What's the first win that you're reader or your customer is going to experience when using your product. It's not the thing one year from now they'll be able to achieve. It's the thing one day from now, the first step where they're going to notice a, a tiny difference. So I, funny that I don't have makeup on today. I have been doing a um, nutritional program that deals with skincare. It's all about making your skin brighter and I don't know, whatever, you, the good things you want skin to be clear and soft and healthy. And the big picture benefit is eventually, you know, having beautiful, flawless skin, you get complimented on. The quickest valuable win is when you wake up in the morning, uh, there was someone in our group that she recently went to the gym without makeup on. 
um, after about a week of following this nutritional protocol. So that was her quickest valuable win, is getting up in the morning and going to the gym and not feeling like you need makeup. That's the QVW. The QVW is having a little fork in here so you don't have to eat with your fingers. That's huge. So it's really important when you're writing your sales copy to think about the QVW. What is the first tangible win that your product is gonna provide for somebody? And make sure you talk about that. Usually I like to do this in a sales email is the best place and the most logical place to go into how it's gonna feel when you get that QVW, but just make sure you address it somewhere. You are having the conversation about the first thing someone's gonna notice because that's often the most visceral and it's something they can believe. It's something that they can put themselves into those shoes and see how they could achieve that quick win. Maybe they have trouble believing the big promise that you're making, but you wanna make it real and make it tangible with that QVW. Okay, hope that helps. Hope that was worth me coming on when I'm like the most disheveled I've ever been. But it's really important and I hope that helps you shed some light. All right, get to it, get to writing.